Welcome to the dawn of a new age in renewable energy, where the power of the sun is being harnessed in ways never seen before. Solar power isn't just an alternative anymore, it's morphing into the mainstream, and pioneering technologies are leading the charge. Prepare to immerse yourself in a world where dust removal systems extend the lifespan of solar panels, Borovsky's inventions skyrocket efficiency, and where revolutionary companies like Prem, NRL Solar, and Lightyear One are making strides that will light up our world. By 2030, solar power is projected to contribute 10% of global power generation, and many of these installations will be in desert areas, with sunlight aplenty. But every rose has its thorns, and for solar power, it's dust accumulation. Just imagine, dust on your solar panels or mirrors reducing their output by 30% in a month. It's not a minor issue, but a significant obstacle. Regular cleaning is vital, but it comes with its own baggage. Cleaning solar panels today consumes about 10 billion gallons of water annually, enough to provide drinking water for 2 million people. Efforts to clean without water are labor-intensive and can cause irreversible scratching, reducing efficiency. But hold on to your hats, because researchers at MIT have developed an automatic, waterless, no-contact system that could drastically decrease this dust dilemma. Here's the exciting part. The system uses electrostatic repulsion. Picture dust particles virtually jumping off the panel surface without water or brushes. The system uses an electrode sliding above the panel surface, which gives dust particles an electrical charge. These particles are then repelled by a charge applied to the panel itself. This system can be operated automatically, needing only an electric motor and guide rails. But why is this so important? Even a mere 1% reduction in power for a 150 megawatt solar installation could result in an annual revenue loss of $200,000. On a global scale, a 3 to 4% reduction in power output from solar plants could lead to losses between $3.3 billion and $5.5 billion. The new system could potentially lower these costs, improve power output by permitting more frequent automated cleanings, and help the solar industry become more sustainable, which is increasingly crucial as solar installations continue to expand worldwide. Solar cells convert sunlight into electricity using semiconductors. Silicon abundant and stable has been the go-to choice for semiconductors since the 1950s. But creating large silicon crystals needed for solar panels is complex, costly, and energy-consuming. With perovskite, a cheaper, more energy-efficient alternative that can be modified to ideally match the sun's spectrum. In 2012, researchers discovered how to craft thin-film perovskite solar cells with conversion efficiencies of over 10%. Fast forward to today, and the record stands at 25.2%. By coupling perovskite solar cells with traditional silicon ones, the efficiency record hits an impressive 29.1%. Scientists and entrepreneurs are utilizing the Washington Clean Energy testbeds to develop and scale perovskite solar cells. J. Devin McKenzie, testbeds technical director, is focusing on developing new electrodes and in-situ instruments for measuring the growth of perovskite crystals. The hope is that these exciting advancements in perovskite research will propel the solar industry to a brighter future. In May 2020, engineers from the U.S. Naval Research Laboratory launched PRAM, P-R-A-M, short for Photovoltaic Radio Frequency Antenna Module. It hitched a ride into space on the Air Force's X-37B orbital test vehicle, this mission? To look into how we might use solar energy captured in space here on Earth. Heading up the PRAM project is Paul Jaffe, who said the launch was an exhilarating moment in the journey. Although it's taken time to get there, he's thrilled that they're making strides. PRAM is a piece of potential future network of power satellites. These could beam energy from space to any spot on our planet. Since the launch, the team has been regularly receiving data from PRAM. Chris DePuma, the PRAM program manager, said that PRAM has performed even better in space than it did during pre-launch tests. For him, the most amazing moment was when they got the first data package from PRAM. It showed that all their effort had been worth it. PRAM was doing its job in space and sending back valuable information for solar and power beaming research. Over the past year, the team has been studying the data PRAM has sent back. Power beaming is the idea of sending electrical energy from one point to another through open space using a focused electromagnetic beam. In January, Jaffe and DePuma together with Chris Roddenbeck from NRL's radar division wrote a paper that shared data from PRAM's first in-orbit test of a solar to RF, the sandwich module. 
Alum Energy, an Australian company, has created a unique product called SolShare that lets multiple users, for example, in an apartment building benefit from a single rooftop solar panel setup. This innovative product has now earned a certification that allows it to tap into the potential of 75.2 billion US dollars in the United States market. SolShare is the first of its kind, a technology that allows solar energy sharing. Getting the first Power Division Control System, or PDCS, to be UL certified is a game changer. UL is a top global safety science organization. Its approval is a huge achievement, said Christy Batista, Alum Energy's chief technology officer. SolShare has already been a hit in Australia. It has successfully reduced each apartment's electricity bill in a Melbourne community housing building by over 114 US dollars. The SolShare device works behind the meter, constantly watching the energy demands of everyone connected to its system. It then fairly shares out the energy it makes. Raw Lemon has made a major breakthrough in solar technology with their spherical solar concentrating system. They are the first company that can concentrate diffuse light, meaning they can capture sunlight from anywhere. One of the biggest issues with solar power is its low efficiency. Most solar panels convert only about 15% of the solar energy they receive into electricity. Plus, if the panels don't follow the sun's movement across the sky, they can lose up to 40% of their potential energy over a year. Raw Lemon has solved these problems with a unique approach. By using principles of spherical geometry and a dual-axis tracking system, their design can yield up to 70% more energy than a standard solar panel when both are placed vertically. This makes Raw Lemon's product suitable for any location, plus they use just 1% of the cell surface, which could revolutionize the production of sustainable low-cost energy. Get ready for a ride into the future with Lightyear One, an electric car with a twist. This exciting creation by Dutch startup Lightyear comes fitted with solar panels on its roof, hood, and trunk. Now you can charge your car while driving. These panels spread over 5 square meters, harness sunlight turning it into an electricity to power your car. So while you cruise down the highway, your car charges up. The Lightyear One can also be charged the old-fashioned way, at an electric charging station. With its solar panels, the Lightyear One can add up to 70 kilometers or 44 miles of driving range each day to its base 388-mile range. In sunny places like Spain or Portugal, an average driver can go for 7 months without plugging in the car. Even in cooler climates like the Netherlands, the car can last for two months without a charge. Lightyear One is spacious enough for five passengers, and at five meters long, it's a comfortable ride. It's made from reclaimed carbon fiber and aluminum and has cameras instead of mirrors. With a top speed of 160 kilometers per hour and a low drag coefficient, the Lightyear One is both fast and energy efficient. Our journey doesn't stop there, it literally rolls onto the next exciting innovation, the solar train. The idea of solar-powered transportation is expanding, now stepping beyond personal vehicles and into public transport. Imagine a train that runs on solar power, leaving behind zero emissions in its trail. Several pilot projects around the world are already testing this concept. In Australia, for instance, a fully solar-powered train is in operation, employing custom-built solar charging stations. But the vision extends beyond standalone solar trains. Picture an entire railway network powered by solar energy, harnessed directly from the tracks and the surrounding infrastructure. This isn't just a dream, efforts are already underway to make it a reality. As we conclude this eventful journey through the landscape of next-gen solar power tech, it's clear that we stand at the dawn of a golden age of solar energy. The sun is setting on the old limitations. And with companies and technologies like these leading the charge, a brighter, cleaner future is on the horizon. If you found this exploration of solar power as fascinating as we do, then hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more journeys into the future. Until next time, remember, the future is not just bright, it's solar powered. Thanks for tuning in.